Okay, so now that we have it turned, we need to finish closing up the bag. I'm trying to get this at a good angle here. So if you look inside, you can see our Peltex stabilizer. What you want to do is fold the burlap edge over the Peltex, right along the top edge of the Peltex. And then this inner piece here, you want to fold it right where we stitched, right here where we attached the interfacing. You want to fold it right on that line. There we go. So this goes over the Peltex, and this goes in, and then you want them to match up just like that. I'm going to get the clip. And just keep doing that all the way down. Fold it over the Peltex, and then right on that stitch line. I have a little wrinkle here, so let me try to adjust that. You want it, you want it to lay as flat as possible and as evenly as possible all the way across, like that. Then do the same thing on the other side. Fold it over the Peltex. You want to make sure that your side edge is, the side edge here is folded where it's supposed to be and that will make it a lot easier to match this up. and flat. So now I'm going to go back over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch real close to the edge here along where it's open on both sides just to close it up. I'm going to leave my bag like like this as I sew it because my top thread will match the burlap and my bobbin thread is a uh, dark brown which is going to match my lining. So I'm just going to slip it on here, find where the closure starts, or needs to start. I'm going to sew as close to the edge as I can, catching both pieces of this fabric. should look and make sure you caught both pieces of fabric on the top and the bottom all the way across, which I did. You want to flip your threads. And then 
flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so you can see we've got our edges done. Just about ready to attach the frame to the bag. First, I'm going to take it over to the ironing board and just give it a press all the way around on the inside and the outside. <laughs> 